afternoon. I'm Susan McGuire with Resources for Seniors, and I'm the Senior Care Coordinator. Today, we're going to do a program for you on what Resources for Seniors is and what we do. And I'm going to start out with a brief introduction about Resources for Seniors. So how we came about was in 1970, the Older Americans Act came into being. And with the Older Americans Act was the establishment of councils on aging in different counties throughout the United States. In response to that federal legislation in 1973, the Wake County Council on Aging was formed as a private not-for-profit agency under Section 501c3 of the Internal Revenue Code. The purpose of the agency was to advocate for the interest of older and disabled adults, to increase awareness of their needs, and to improve services so they could remain independent as long as possible. The agency's name, although originally it was the Wake County Council on Aging, was changed in 1993 because of the expanded services throughout the county and beyond that our agency provides. And the name was changed to Resources for Seniors. So the goal of the agency is to assist, is to assist our Wake County older adults and um, persons with disabilities to remain as independent as long as possible and to stay in their own homes as long as they choose and they're safely able to. The first services were to inform older adults and their families about the services and resources available to them in Wake County and we continue to provide that today with our information and referral program. To reach our goals, we focus on not only the home, but also community-based programs. Programs and services for older adults and adults with disabilities are determined using personalized counseling and problem solving, which is either done in the office, at senior centers, in the client's home, or by phone, or by email. Funding for our agency comes from a variety of grants, federal, state, and local. Our adult day services is a fee-for-service program and there is some grant funding associated with it also. Grants and donations help support our home care, home improvement, weatherization, transportation, and CAP DA, just to name a few of our programs that are covered by grants. We will provide additional information on each of these areas. So how do you find us? Well, during the COVID-19 pandemic, we're an essential agency and we'll answer your phone calls at our main line, which is 919-872-7933. When you call that number, you'll be directed to a staff member who can assist you with your, personal, with your concerns and your questions in that particular area. Our Resources for Seniors website is www.resourcesforseniors.com and we can provide you additional answers to many of your questions. We have set up on our homepage currently under the caption announcements um, a title called updates and the site is updated daily and includes information on food distribution, food and grocery delivery, healthcare and telehealth, transportation, counseling hotlines, virtual support groups, volunteer and donation op opportunities, and a myriad of other programs and services during this time that we are sheltering in place. From our homepage, you can also access our new 2020 Directory of, Resource, Directory of Resources for Resources for Seniors. You also can, once we are out of the sheltering in place and we're allowed to move around again, you can find our directories in senior centers or at our main office. Our main office is on 1110 Navajo Drive, fourth floor. And the zip code for that is 27609. Our main number, 919-872-7933. There are coordinators at six, senior at six senior centers in Wake County, and we also have coordinators at the senior housing communities to help us as people, older adults and persons with disabilities with their questions. 